Hello, I'm Lewis. I'm one of the screen dudes here at Primeline, and today I'm going to walk you through how to rescreen your uh, damaged window screens. And by using some of the techniques I'm going to show you, anybody can do this, and uh, it's not that difficult. And I'm here to show you how simple it is. Uh, we do sell the screen kits for window screens and for doors, and they're available with and without a rolling tool. Uh, so if you don't have one, they come in the package. There's also rolling tools available separately. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through the step process right now. I'm going to open up the package and I'll show you how to install the fabric into this screen that we're going to replace the fabric on. Okay, we've opened up our kit. We have our rolling tool that we took out of the kit, our, our screen fabric and our spline. And just go over some of the other basic tools you just need to have on hand. We need a screwdriver. Um, this here is just a real trick of the trade, just using something as simple as a nail, and I'll show you how we're going to use that in a second. And then a good sharp utility knife, uh, or razor blade knife, and uh, some roll of duct tape material available will make it a lot easier to install this screen. So the first thing we need to do is remove the old fabric. This is where the nail comes in, and just the point of the nail will grab the spline so you can pull it out. So we're just going to pull the spline out. Sometimes you can reuse the spline that's in your screen frame, or if the spline has deteriorated, you want to replace it. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to, we're going to replace the spline with new spline. You want to hold the frame down on the surface that you're doing this on. And in this case here, we're using a folding table and we just put a cover over the top of it. It happens to be an old shower curtain. But any surface, flat surface, will work. So you just want to make sure you hold the frame down when you're pulling that out so you don't break the corners. And then a little bit of a trick to the trade here is using some duct tape. And I've already cut some samples of some duct tape that I'm going to use to hold the frame onto the table to keep it from moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to overlap the spline channel. I'm just going to put this just on the edge of the frame and down onto the tabletop. And I'm going to do this on all four sides. So what the tape does is it holds the screen frame on the table so it doesn't move when you're inserting the spline and the fabric. So I have my piece of fabric that I took out of the package and I'm going to lay this over the frame and you just need to overlap this over the outside edges of the frame on the, on the two sides at the bottom here and on this side just a couple inches and then using our new spline that we have I'm going to roll this into the spline channel. And I'm going to start here in this corner. And I'm going to work across to this side. And we just start by lightly pressing in the spline into the frame. And then on our rolling tool, there's two wheels here. There's one that's a convex wheel and one that's a concave. And the concave is the one they recommend to use. And that just helps guide the roller onto the spline so it doesn't slip off in the screen process. So I've already started this, and I'm going to just lightly put some tension on this fabric on this other side, and I'm going to roll this spline right into the spline channel. So I get to the end. This is where the utility blade comes in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this off at the end of the corner there. Now one of the techniques of making this a little bit easier to install this fabric is I'm going to go up to the top of the screen and I'm just going to pull some tension across this and now I'm going to go across the top and that's going to pull that screen fabric tight from the top and bottom. I'll just repeat the same thing I did at the bottom. Now 
do the same thing. I'm just going to cut that spline at the end of the corner. Now I'm going to come back to this corner here and just repeat the same process. Same thing, cut this. And then the last part that I'm going to do is this side over here. I'm going to start in this corner right here and work towards the one end. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just cut this. And now what I'm going to show you is a, a technique in trimming off the fabric. Okay, so now we're ready to cut off the excess spline and uh, you're probably wondering what we we're going to do with the screwdriver and I'm going to show you where the screwdriver comes into play. I still want to go back and I want to tuck in the, the spline that when I came to the end of the corner and this is where the screwdriver comes in. It's just a nice way of tucking all that down inside the corners. I'm going to do that on all four corners. And this technique I'm going to show you for cutting off the excess screen fabric works every time. It takes a little practice, but you know, after a couple of these you'll have it. And uh, what I recommend is you use your utility knife, you bury the point of the blade into the corner, and you want to keep the blade next to the screen frame, but you also want to ride right on top of the spline at about a 45 degree angle. And you just literally press against the, the screen frame itself, and you keep that blade almost in line with the screen frame. You don't hold it out because then it will interfere with the fabric and you'll end up cutting the fabric where you don't want to cut. Keep the blade just buried in the corner and just pull your fabric around the blade. And I'm going to go up here to this corner. Last cut is on this side. The technique that I'm using for this window screen would be the same as if you were doing a swinging screen door or a sliding screen door. It's the same procedure and it's just, you know, difference in size. pull off our tape. And there's our finished screen and nice and tight and taut. And I know I make it look easy, but a little bit of practice and it only takes a couple of doing a couple of these and you'll have it. And if you have any questions about what I've done today, you can visit us on our website, primeline.net. Thank you.